Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. In continuing on with what uh, UV maps are, how the whole texturing process works, I'm going to take a slight deviation away from Hexagon and Photoshop and I'm going to give you uh, a really good visual demonstration here in Cinema 4D as to how UV maps work. Now just like we did in Hexagon, here's our cube and just like we did in Hexagon, here, are our, here is our UV map. All I did is I unwrapped the box and this is the layout that I chose for the UV map and this is the top one up here represented by this. This is the this is this face and you see it selected over here and this is how uh, Cinema 4D does it. I'm going to create a new texture here and I'll show you a visual demonstration on how UV mapping works and essentially what its objective is. I'm just going to choose a solid color here and I've got a green color selected. UV mapping as opposed to assigning procedural t textures to an object in say Carrera view Bryce or other programs UV mapping is the ability to precisely apply a texture or a color to your 3D object in a in a very specific way so if this is our UV map I can take my paintbrush and paint on my object let me assign the material to my object and you will see this is the objective and the goal of UV painting. You can, in any way conceivable, paint your UV map and then apply that to your object. Or you can, if you choose, even paint on the object itself and have that reflected on your UV map. and it is very precise in allowing you to put whatever colors or textures on your objects as you see fit. And that's the way UV mapping works and that's its objective. Let me create another layer here and we'll do something a little bit more practical. Let me choose an actual, you know, real working texture and uh, here I'll just choose this wood texture here so say this was you know a, a crate or a box of some sort now I just can go and paint my material right onto the object and it is a little small. Let me enlarge the scale. Oop, that's a little bit too much. I get 50%. There we are. And I'll just paint my material right on the box and that is how UV mapping works. Or I can just again paint right on the box itself. So, it's, it'd be nice if Hexagon allowed you to paint your UV maps like this. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But as I said earlier, I'm only using Cinema 4D here as an illustration on the objective of UV maps. We're going to have to do it a little bit more manually in Photoshop. So, I'm going to pause it right here, and we're going to go into Hexagon, create another cube, UV map it, and bring it into Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Hexagon. We've got our cube. Let's come over here to UV Paint. Apply a cubic projection T. 
to this and I want all six sides separate. I'm going to come over here to select uh, let me validate that. I'm going to come over here and select my faces. I'm going to select all my faces. That way over here the squares are red and it'll be a little bit more easily visible in Photoshop. So I'm going to save this just as a quickie little image file and come into Photoshop. Okay, now this is why I had selected the faces of the cube in hexagon because now it's easy to see where the UV map lies here on this layer. So I'll create a new layer above that. What I want to do is create a wood texture for this. So I'll come into Adobe Bridge. Okay, there's, there's two methods that I'm familiar with in applying an image to a UV map here in Photoshop and I'll show you both. I will drag the wood texture directly over my UV map here. And then just resize it so it covers the UV map. And I can just save this out, save as. I'll save it over my original UV map that I created in Hexagon. Come back into Hexagon. Create a texture, and I want texture image. I'm going to move my way over here. And there we are. There is our texture right there on our object here in hexagon. Now the second way to go about doing this is to save this as a pattern. So I will come up here to what I need to do is hit control A to make an entire selection off of this layer. Come up here to edit and define pattern and this is what this is the pattern that I want to define so I'll click OK. Now getting back to where we were originally without that I can double click on this layer choose pattern overlay and find the wood pattern that I had just saved and I probably need to fill it in first with a solid color There we are. And the thing that's nice about using a pattern overlay is I can adjust the scale of the, uh, of the pattern and I can move it around and position it exactly where I want. And I think if you're going to be doing a lot of UV mapping, this is probably the, the better way to go using your textures as a pattern because it gives you the most amount of flexibility. And I'm going to click OK to that. Now, another thing you can do is use your marquee tool and specify exactly what you want on each face of your various polygons. So. I will come back into Bridge and choose another texture and I'll choose that one. I'm going to control A to select that whole layer, edit, and I will define this as a pattern. And I don't need that anymore. Now on this layer I will bring up that last image that I selected. So I'll go down to Pattern Overlay and check there and there's my uh, pattern and I will fill that little white area in with my pattern and it looks to be a little too large so I will adjust the scale of it down and move it around in my image and I like that 
I'm going to control D to deselect. Now I'll just take that layer, duplicate it, and I'll move it over onto the next polygon. And this is one way of painting your UV maps here in Photoshop to get the results that you want. So I'm going to go with the first one here and I'll save it over my original which was a PNG file close out bridge in Photoshop and and we will apply the new texture to our object so this is the way that you texture your objects in, fact in hexagon and Photoshop. It doesn't allow the freedom the, and the flexibility as a Cinema 4D or body paint, but it's using the tools that you have available to accomplish uh, whatever it is that you need to do. So I hope this more thoroughly explains how to texture an object in Photoshop uh, based on UV maps that you create in Hexagon. So thanks for watching this video tutorial. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.